Today is gonna be the David versus Goliath of skate shoes. We're gonna be comparing the Action Rue slip-ons to the Van Skate Classics slip-ons. Obviously, Vans is one of the oldest skateboard companies, has one of the longest track records in the skateboard industry, and Action is a company that was hot for a while, went out of business, popped up, went out of business, and recently has launched again for a third time. But all in all, Action is still really under the radar, especially when you compare it to a company like Vans. So today we're going to be comparing the Vanscape Classics with the Action Rue slip-ons to figure out which one is worth your money. First, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that like button. Not only was it going to help you to actually see more of my videos in your feed, but it will also help this channel grow. And if you mess with this content and you've already subscribed, you can follow me on Instagram at the local Joe. I try and post skate clips there on the regular. So today we're going to take these shoes through a series of tests to figure out which one is worth your hard-earned money. Today we're going to be testing the comfort, the board feel, the flick, the impact, resistance, and the durability. So as we go through all the tests, I'm going to be switching back and forth from one shoe to the next so that I can directly compare and analyze one from the other. So we're going to get to those tests in just a second, but first we just got to warm up. And just to clarify, during this warm up, I'm going to be wearing completely different shoes, so that way I'm not going to mess up the experiment. I'm going to warm up in the Kyle Walker Pro 2s, and then after that, when we get into the test, I'll start wearing the slip on. Okay, go ahead and warm up. guys so we're gonna do three tests to test out which of these shoes you should buy so number one is gonna be about the board feel so I'm gonna do three tricks on the flat bar just board slide front board and 50 the reason I'm doing the flat bar is because the flat bar requires the most precision so that's where board feel is gonna come in critical the most the next test we're gonna do is the flick test so we're gonna do kick flip fakie flip heel flip fakie heel flip and that's just to see which shoes have the best feel when you're doing flip tricks and then finally the last one is gonna be the impact test we're gonna set a little gap over the box ollie over and just see which one feels more comfy i mean they're both slip on so i'm not expecting much impact protection but we're gonna see which one does the best so let's go ahead and put the shoes on and do the three tests and figure out does david beat goliath let's get it three tests now it's time to rate these shoes so as far as the comfort goes I would give the Vans probably like a 6 out of 10 and the Action Rue I'd probably give them like an 8 out of 10 these are super comfortable and these are just not really comfortable at all they're they're not super uncomfortable these have taken me forever to break in but at this point they're not super uncomfortable they're just not really comfortable whereas the Action they're super comfortable so got to give it to the Action for the comfort now as far as board feel honestly I've got to give it to the Vans. These outsoles are so thin and uh, they're not very protective, but one thing's for sure, you can super feel your board. So as far as board feel would go, I give these at a 10 out of 10 and I give the action probably like an 8 out of 10. These are still really good, but just, uh, I mean, it's almost like you're wearing no shoes with these ones. So yeah, I've got to give it to the Vans for the board feel. Next is the Flick and the Flick I think is going to be a toss up. I'd give these both like a 7 or an 8 out of 10. I feel like 
they both got good flick. It's not incredible. It was a little bit difficult switching from my Kyle Walkers, which are a lot bulkier, and then switching to these that are a lot pointy. But I would have to say that the uh, Vans were better for kick flips, but then the actions were better for heel flips. So I would have to call it a toss up for the flick. I feel like the each of these shoes have something to bring to the table as far as the, the flip tricks go. So uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a tie. So next is the Impact. And this one, I've got to give the Vans probably like a five and then give the Actions probably like a seven. So these are surprisingly comfortable for Impact. I felt really confident. Whereas with the Vans, when you're rolling up and you can feel every single crack, it just makes you think one thing and that's that you're not going to bail. You're gonna land bolts no matter what because the last thing that you want is to take Impact with these shoes. So I would give these, as far as the Impact goes, the Vans, give them like a four out of 10 and I would give the Action Rue like a seven out of 10. As far as the durability goes, I would give the Vans probably like an eight out of 10. This rubber is extremely durable. I've already done 100 kickflips in these shoes and granted I haven't skated them much other than that, but this rubber on these is super durable, it's super tough and uh, it just doesn't seem to be wearing hardly at all. Whereas the Rue's, I've been skating them for a little bit now and uh, I wouldn't say they're not durable, they're just not extra durable. So I would give these like an eight out of 10 and then give the actions probably like a, uh, a six out of 10. Not bad, but just not great. So I think overall the Vans won two categories, the actions won two categories, and then they tied in one. So I guess overall we'd call it a tie. Both of these shoes have their benefits, they have their pros and their cons. Personally, if I had to choose between these, I mean, they're both $60 shoes. If I had to pick one, I would probably go with the action Rue. Now, the reason that I say that is just because comfort to me is really important. And yes, the board feel is amazing with the Vans, but it's almost so, just like so thin that it kind of makes you nervous that you're gonna land Primo or whatever's gonna happen. You just don't feel very protected. Whereas with this, you get a lot of board feel, but you also get that comfort. So I feel like this is really the best of both worlds. You get the protection of a bulkier shoe, but also you get the feel of a slip-on. So I'm really happy that I got these action ruse. I think they're maybe one of the best slip-ons that I've ever skated personally. And you know, I love my slip-ons. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and like the video so that more people can see it and so that more videos will pop up in your feed. And subscribe, turn on the notifications. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, follow me at the local Joe. Thank you so much for watching. Make every day a Friday and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.